welcome to the Valken Tech Vault. My name is Josh, and in this video, we're going to show you how to install the V12 QEV upgrade in the V12 engine. So here I have the uh, powertrain removed already from the shell and out of the gun so that we can kind of show you uh, where it goes. And this is the easiest way to install it because you'll be needing to remove the lines and cut the lines. So it's easier just to remove it completely from the shell and from the gun. So the QEV replaces the second banjo here on the rear that controls the pop bit. And what the QEV does is it's a mechanical feature that kicks on as soon as there's a drop in back pressure from the BB exiting the barrel, therefore shutting the pop it faster and conserving more air per shot. Increases efficiency and shot counts per tank. So there are two schools of thought when replacing these banjo fittings. One is you can take off the banjo fitting, take the banjo fitting off the line, measure and cut the line. Uh, kind of the shortcut that we're going to use today is going to be remove the banjo, install the QEV, and then cut the banjo off the line. Um, some of the tools we're going to need for this are a flathead screwdriver. Make sure you get the appropriate width for your banjo fitting so that you don't damage the screw. A 1.5 millimeter hex a fine tip sharpie, uh, a pair of snips if you're you know, gonna, if you don't have a pair of cutting implements, um, pliers, this is for if you want to pull the banjo off of the line, and then my preferred method which would be a razor knife and a cutting surface. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we are going to remove the banjo fitting. And then we're going to go and install our QEV. Now this is a 360 fitting, which means that it can swivel around its base. So you don't have to worry about clocking it, indexing it, or shimming it with O-rings. So you just move your lines, line up your threads. And as I always say, the, a simple trick when threading something is to back it off. Go reverse counterclockwise until you can kind of feel a pop. That means that the threads have aligned. And then you can securely tighten it without fear of cross threading. So now what we're going to do is trim the line for the barb. So I'm just going to take my fine tip marker and mark it on the edge of the line here. So my line will just butt right up against the QEV housing. cutting surface, knife, and you want to make a clean straight cut. I'll cut myself. Now we can go ahead and just press the air supply line onto the barb. This is why it's important you get a clean cut because if you have a jagged cut, it can prevent the line from slipping on to the nipple smoothly. And you just want to push it all the way on. Grab our pliers. This will help grab the line and force it on there and get a nice secure fit and seal. And now you've successfully installed your QEV upgrade and you're ready to reinstall this back in your shell and back in your gun. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe and follow us on social media and you'll get the exclusives about the sports.